going? Doing a live stream today out here, getting ready to look inside the beehives. So I've got the beehives right here. You can see the activity going on. Just kind of coming in and out a little bit. So I've got my bee suit on, and Rebecca's gonna be coming out here in just a minute to help me with this. What's up, Gilardo? Hi, Kidler26, Blogs with Matilda, what's up? Tiger Slocks, YouTube, what's up? Hi, Kai Blakes. So I've got my bee suit on. This helps me so that I don't get stung. Uh, when I've opened up the beehives, sometimes they can get a little bit aggressive. Um, hey, what's up, Feel Me Once? Um, so I just want to make sure that uh, I don't get stung today. So that's kind of why I've got this bee suit on. And Rebecca's going to be putting on her bee suit here in just a minute. She's going to come out here and help me. And then we're going to open up the beehives. But the first thing I have to do before I can just open up the hive is I have to light a smoker. So I've got this right here. So I'm going to put some burlap in it and get that lit on fire so that we can have some smoke to calm the bees down. Hi Wildfire H, what's going on? Hi Mallory. Hi Logan. What's going on? Hi Emma. Hi Isaac. Joshua. No, don't smoke them, says Sadie. So putting, what I do is I actually light a fire inside the smoker here and then I push the smoke into the beehive. It doesn't hurt the bees at all. Um, it just calms them down. So I'm not damaging them or hurting them. It just gets them to a place where they're a little bit more calm. So while I'm looking at the hives, they're not going to be aggressive towards me. So looks like I've got a little bit of burlap in there from last time when I looked at the bees. But I've got a little bit more over here that I'm going to put in there that I'll be able to light on fire for the smoking. Here comes Becca. Thomas, what's up, Camille? Last Thursday in social studies class, I was learning about the Mormons and how they moved to Utah. Once my teacher said this is because of you guys. I thought of you guys, the beach house. Thank you. Hello. Oh, Captain Sid, what's going on? Um, okay, so let's get this smoker lit, babe. How you doing in there? Good. Putting my bee suit on. So she doesn't want to get stung either, so she's getting her suit on. And we don't have the suit because the bees are necessarily like super aggressive. It's more of just kind of a precaution because, trust me, you don't want to get stung in the face. That's never yeah. fun. Super One time, was it Justin? Super you? You Potato got, got Eater stung. Lover, 908. Thank you for the super awesome. chat. That's so nice. I've been stung on the eye a couple of times. Yeah, he got stung on the eyeball when we were, was it when we were engaged? Uh, I think it was when we were engaged. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and it was terrible and really funny and terrible at Do the same time. Do you need scissors or knife? Uh, I want to cut some burlap. I think there are some scissors in that yellow tub in my drawer right there. In here? I can't flip the camera screen, so it's going to be... Yeah, I think there are. Um, I seriously uh -huh. need to clean my room. And I've, I've never really had allergies when it comes to, like, the springtime. But for some reason, this spring, I like, sorry, getting super allergies all the time. If I go outside, I'm like, achoo, achoo. So maybe I'm just allergic to something in this new yard of ours. Some pollen or something. So Michael is cutting some burlap. And then I'm going to light it on fire. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. That's the worst. Cause I... <sighs> <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> okay, Michael's still putting burlap. Well, okay, I'm ready. But I'm gonna put my gloves on first because when you're handling a fine <coughs> piece of burlap, sometimes the flames get a little bit too close for comfort. And the, the gloves protect me. Yep. Alright, so I've actually been, uh, I was. 15 or 16 when I, when I first started learning about bees from my grandpa when I was a kid. I think the neighbors were oh. in the yard. Okay, that scared me really bad. <laughs> okay.
Trying to light the burlap. And get it going. There we go. Okay. Once that's lit. I'm going. Alright. Got a good flame going here. So this is like my first impression of Michael. He's like, by the way, I'm a beekeeper. And I was like, really? I mean, at my at our age, the people aren't like, this is what I am. And he was so, um, he was so like, I love beekeeping. I just want to do that. Fatima, Fatima, hi. There's a shout out for you. Oh. So I'm getting the fire going in here. These bees the are on fire. Trying That's to get the said. burlap lit. You can see the fire in the hole. Eee, I'm so excited, you guys. This, this is, is like fire. Michael's favorite thing. <laughs> Beekeeping. So the kids are all downstairs right now watching Shrek, actually. And I, I seriously, my eyeballs are like watering to death. I've been working outside all day. Trying to get the front yard all clean and beautiful. Okay, got a good smoke going here. Oh! Sorry. Right in my face! <laughs> I'm already sneezy. Okay, now I'm gonna put the smoke right in the entryway of this. Hold piece. on, sorry, it's hard because we're in that kind of weird spot. So I just kind of put the smoke here, right in the entrance of the hive. And now I'm gonna do it in the top here. Is there still smoke coming out? Yeah, it's just oh, okay. kind of windy, so it's a little hard to see. All right. So now he's peeling. Go. So what's interesting is the bees. Hold on, I'm gonna pull off one of my gloves. Okay. Ah. I'm so daring. So what's interesting is the bees make a glue. It's like the wax sometimes is just made. Oh, look, look at that beautiful wax. It's so pure and, and. Wow, they've been yellow. busy. Busy bees. It's looking good in here. Anyways, they make a wax like coating along this edge right here that is glue to shut their hive together. Now if I go gently and slowly, the key with the bees is you don't want to be jerky in your movements or it will spook them and get them a little bit more aggressive because of that. Yeah, Andrea Gonzalez says, why did you decide to put your bees right next to the back door? So I put them upstairs on the patio just so that they would be farther away from kids and neighbors and everywhere everybody right and the kids don't ever come out here we don't let them so it's not something that they can come and mess with the boxes plus i think they it's know better place up here. we are going to cvx we are going to cvx live chloe worthington just so you know we will be going oh, I um so I'm going to move a couple of these hey, Rebecca and Michael says, Chelsea, bees are so cute, says, uh, let's see, what, who said that? Bees are so cute, says Stacy Millsap. Oh, I should show you what Michael's doing right now. He's pulled out a couple of these empty frames. Yep, just kind of getting them out of the way so that I have some room to work. And what I'm looking for right now is... Ooh, look at that look beautiful at wax. Oh, it's not really put on the wax, though. It's kind of like separate. So this is a little bit my fault. Oh, I you put a little bit of a gap. in there for a little bit too long. Oh. And, and I didn't take the queen cage out fast enough. And okay. so they kind of built out the comb weird. But that's okay. But it's I, beautiful. I was able to get the queen cage out, and they've actually fixed it. Oh, um, okay. So these other frames have more appropriate wax. Yeah, if you don't put the right spacing in there, then then they'll build it out not on the frame and just in like natural ways, which is really cool to see how they build. Oh wait! Wow! Oh my goodness, that's all honey. 
That's not honey. What? That's brood. Oh, that, no, some of it's honey. There's no honey on this except for in the very top corners. Oh, so you if can you see look honey, right there, shiny. that's honey in those cells. But if you look right here, everywhere else, that is baby bees. That is what wow. we call brood. So little oh, baby you're bees right. are growing. That is brood. Okay. And honey on the outside edge. And that honey is actually what the bees take out and feed to these baby bees in the middle. Exactly right. And if you look down here, you can actually see larva. Inside the cell, you can see little baby larva. Oh, that's so cool. Little grubs that are growing. Those are all little grubs. And see grubs. how non aggressive they are? They're actually really uh, sweet. They're not flying around me, they're not buzzing, they're not trying. Okay. Sorry about that. So we were just saying how the bees are actually really sweet and they're not aggressive and they're totally just minding their own business and working. So oh, on is this, this another one? This is on the other side of the same frame. There's tons of brood. This makes me really, really, really happy. Because me too. This tells me a lot. First of all, this tells me that the bees are getting enough honey locally yeah. that they're not starving. Yeah. It also tells me that we have a really good queen because there's so much brood that she's laying eggs. Yeah. Which means that she is fertile and she's she's healthy. Yeah. She's doing a good job, so that's a very good thing. And um Oh, those... somebody says Don Mason says, is the wing disease a problem in your area which causes the wings to be deformed and drop off? Um I don't think it's so. It's not anything that I'm familiar with. Yeah, they are nice and relaxed, says Suzanne Nodeling. They're just very calm right now. Show us right the now. queen bee, says Layla. Well, uh, that's Layla, what we're trying to I find. I will do my best. I'm looking for the queen right now. You let me know if you see it. <laughs> yes. So, um, Peyton Cooley, you just said my friend is terrified of bees. And I actually I think that I am typically terrified. I was terrified until I met Michael, and then he taught me all about honeybees. I'm not I'm only afraid of wasps and yellow jackets and all the other kinds that like to sting and that are mean. But honeybees are sweet. Like, you can even pick them up. I don't want to. I put one in my mouth once. That was a drone That was bee. a drone. A boy. Most of the bees are girls. There's only, like, there's not very many drones. That's because they don't work. That's and they're just for repopulating the <laughs> population. <laughs> They have one job and it's not to work. <laughs> yep. Oh, this wind though. Yeah, well they're all really, really super laid back right now. So far. The Jenny longer, B says bees are very interesting. The longer I leave the hive open, the more upset they become. Yeah. So I'm anxious. To hurry. To hurry, because I don't want to... Oh, I can feel rain actually. I don't want to upset them. Good thing we're underneath this thing, so it's not going to be raining really bad on them. Okay, I have a feeling we're getting close to the queen. <laughs> Becca Vlog says girls work their butts off to feed the boys. That's true. <laughs> that is true. In, a, in the beehive, that is absolutely And actually, right. sometimes the girl bees kick the boys out of the hive. In the fall, they in do. In the fall, and say, sorry, we're not going to feed you. Oh, I found the queen. <gasps> Where? She is right there. Do you see oh, her? Oh yeah, let's see. Do you see. see how long she is? She has a long butt. She, it's like a flower. Everywhere she goes, the she bees has a very, around her. Yep, she's got a long abdomen. Do you still see her? Yep, and her back. I'll try to keep her right in the middle of the screen Her for thorax you guys. is shiny instead of fuzzy. Everybody else's is fuzzy, but she, she walks around and around her there's all these nurser bees. And they keep her fed and they keep her taken care of and they take they make sure that she has everything she needs so that she can keep laying eggs all day. Do you guys see her clearly? She's awesome. That's my beautiful queen. And they queen. all get out of the way for her. Is she laying an egg? Oh, Is she? It looks like she was about to. She She's could be. She's just checking on her babies. Well they're drawing out this these frames very quickly. They're being very productive right yes, now. Yes they are. Okay let's shut it and get them back in bed. Yes. Back in <laughs> Let's see. Michael, were you ever scared of bees? Um, Says. Was I ever scared? Live life 72? Um, there probably was a time in my life where I would swat at bees when I'd see them just because I didn't know any better. Yeah. But now that I'm a beekeeper, 
I know that the best thing you can do when you see a bee is hold still. Yep. The best thing you can do is not move because if they see you moving and swatting and trying to hit them, then they're more likely to sting you. Yep. So the best thing you can do is just leave them alone, give them their space. They're not trying to fight you. They don't want to sting you, especially honeybees, because if a honeybee stings, it dies. Yep. So it does not want to sting you. Wasps, on the other hand, they can sting you multiple times. Wasps and hornets and yellow jackets, those ones... They're mean. They are a lot more aggressive, but I've still never been stung by any of them. Yeah. But that's because I know to keep my space and to leave them alone, and I don't bother them, and so they don't bother the me. this is the last frame that he's putting in the hive. Yep, so I'm just putting all the frames back in And then here. when he's done, he takes that tool, and he makes sure that they're all evenly spaced, or else they'll draw out their honeycomb very weird, like the last one that they just did. Right. And that's not, it's not the best for, for harvesting honey, so we don't want that. And then I just put the lid back on, and... Just like that, we're done. It's, it's really super simple. Fatima says, this is very interesting and very entertaining. Good, I'm so glad you love it. <laughs> I, I absolutely love beekeeping. Yeah. And even more, I love sharing beekeeping with other people. Yeah. Because it's something I just absolutely Well, and look at treasure. that. Like, we're not surrounded by bees right now. We're not. They're just like, I mean, they're every now and then there's a bee, but it's like... They're not mad. They're nope. calm. They're sweet. There's as no long as we're sweet to them, they're sweet to us. In fact, I could have done all that without a bee suit and probably been perfectly fine. Yeah, and, and you have before. I have. Yeah. Um, but I do this as a precaution. So the bees are doing good. So now I'm just going to take a peek really quick in the other two hives. Okay. I just want to make sure that we also have good laying, laying queens. Laying queens and that there's honey being, or brood being born and everything's working out. Right. So, Michael, you've been doing this for how long? So, if I'm 31 and I started at 16, that means this is my 15th year. 15 years of beekeeping. And you haven't done it every single year because you were on your mission. Yes. And a couple of years we haven't had a place to put bees. But most, most of the time, other than that, you've been able to be doing beekeeping every year. Yeah. I just don't want to sit my butt on a bee. That would hurt. <laughs> oh, here's the here's the little um, cage for the queen, queen bee. Cage. The queen bee actually ate through this part. This was a sugar plug, and and once she ate through that sugar, then she could escape and get into the hive. And that's how we got we got all of them. You just hook it hook this part right here that's kind of bent over one of the frames on the inside of the hive. Not that, this. And then uh, it would eat, it, eat through the sugar cube, eat, eat through the sugar plug, and then get out and then be able to be free and start laying brood. So Michael's opening up the second hive. I'm just putting a little bit of smoke inside to let them know I'm here. Yeah. Out there where I'm going to take a peek in. Oh, they're so calm. Look at that. They're not attacking. They're not mean. Oh, no. Becca Vlog says she's been stung in the eyelid and her eyes swelled shut for three days. That happened to me. That happened to Michael, too. I feel your pain, <laughs> Becca Vlogs. I know the struggle. <laughs> yeah. Suzanne Nodeling says that's really good. It's so good. It's so good to keep things going that you learn as a child in the family. Well, my grandpa taught me beekeeping. In fact, when I was probably... Oh yeah, actually, somebody asked that, and I was trying to get to that, but I forgot. Somebody asked, why do you beekeep? Why do you like it? What when made was, you want to do it? I remember when I was Charlie's age, uh, getting stung by one of my grandpa's bees. <laughs> um, he's, he had bees my whole life when I was little, and um, I never really had much of an interest for it. But actually, when I was a teenager, my brother Matthew... Oof, I'm getting smoked to death over here. Here, I'll move Can the you move that? Here. Thanks. Sure. Now I have a smoker's voice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it was actually my brother Matthew who first got the bees and showed an interest. Woo! And, uh, <gasps> Beautiful. That's so pretty. So just Look at started. how white that honeycomb is. It's brand new. It's just so white and pretty. Oh, wow. How many, how many bees are there, says Chloe Worthington? Um, in each one of these hives, there's probably 
maybe 8,000 bees. Okay. And that's the other side. This is the other it's side. Starting to dry There's out. the queen. <gasps> Wait, the queen? don't move the camera. She's right there in the center. Oh, there she is. You see how long she is? She's very long. Longer than the other one, I feel like. That was just in the other hive. There she is. She's doing her job. It looks like we've got some honey on this side. That, right? That's pollen. Pollen. Mm -hmm. And notice how it's all different colors. The from pollen is flowers. like from different flowers. It's all different colors. It's all it's all different flavors and then because it's from different flowers and then once they put it all together it will taste like honey. Mm -hmm. It's all different colors. And That's so cool. there's honey on the top. If you look around the top edges you can see the shine, the shimmer of the honey. Let's see, put the... where is it? The honey is all right here. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh yeah, you can see it's full of... like in the cartoons, like in the Donald Duck cartoons. All of the shiny honey and the top corners. And there's the queen again. There she is. Right underneath that bee. Underneath. Is she laying? It looks like she's... She's not. She's just sitting there. Well, hopefully she's not but cold or something. But if you... I'm trying to see. I think there's probably a bunch of eggs on this frame. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and actually... Um, I want to close this one up now that i found her. Because my biggest fear is I don't want to squish her. Yep. That would be the worst thing in the world kill the queen because if the queen dies then the whole hive dies. Yep. Um, so now that I've found her I know she's healthy, healthy, she looks good. Yep. And let's just take a quick peek at this frame so you can see the brood. Ooh! Oh yep, so that's and it kind looks of like crazy. They, they kind of built it out funny on that. But this side looks a lot better. Oh yeah, that's all brood. Those are all, brood is baby bees. Those are all baby bees. And it looks like there's a little bit of honey in this corner, I think. Uh -huh. And probably a little bit of honey in this corner down here too, to feed the bees. To okay. feed the baby bees. And that's a little skewampus in there with how they did that. So Peyton Cooley says, why do why do dead bees still why are dead bees still able to sting you if it still has its stinger in its abdomen? Why are they able to sting you? Even if they're dead. Uh, I've never been stung by a dead bee. I have. Have you? Yep, they'll still stick in you and they'll still hurt you. Maybe it's on a spring-loaded system and you, you trigger the spring and you get stung. <laughs> I, don't I know. think it just still has the poison in it and it's still... Well, the venom sac is still there for uh, yeah, sure. Venom. But I don't... I've never... McKenna Smith says, how much honey do they produce in one day? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, it's really impossible to know for sure, because uh, different hives do different amounts based on how many bees there are, and also different times of the year will yield different amounts of honey. Okay. So, so what about how long do they live for, says Sharon? Okay, I can answer that. So a worker bee... And Jasmine says it too. So queens will live several years. They're less effective. Um, as the years go on, they don't lay as many eggs, they don't do as good. Most beekeepers requeen every year, so they have always a young, good laying queen. Yeah. Um, but a worker bee in the height of the summer will literally work themselves to death in 40 days. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That's yeah. why they have to keep, like, having their colony grow bigger. In the winter time, laying eggs. In the winter time, when they're hunkered down, just kind of trying to keep warm and survive, they'll live four, five, six months. Yeah. But in the, in the summertime, they just work themselves so much they die that they don't last very long. You can kind of see the smoke that he's putting in there. I'm almost out of smoke, but I'm also almost done looking at the bees. Yeah. So I don't really want to relight the smoker because yeah. it'll enough. smoke for a long time. Going in here that I think I what do you guys do when they die? Says Gemma. What do I do when the bees Gemma? die? Yep. Um, the bees repopulate. So when they die, the new queen is laying more eggs all the time. So I don't take any action. Yeah. There it oh, is. Oh, they're so calm, so sweet. Bees are really nice. Do you sell the honey? Says, oh, it's hard to, let's see, okay, Maya 
Boyd. Do you sell the honey? Um, I have in years past, yes. Um, it all just depends on if I have enough extra. William K. Me says, you're going to kill them. Why am I going to kill them? Actually, we're not. We're providing them with the home, and then we leave them with plenty of honey for the winter when we do harvest honey so that they can make it through and then make more honey next year. And it's I would totally never fine. kill my bees. My bees are my babies. <laughs> yep, it's true. I love my honey bees. Ooh. Charlie's outside. Yep, I would never do anything. Hi, Charlie. Hmm? Huh? Whoops. What? This one's got some comb that's attached. Oh! To the wrong side. Oh, it was kind of... Ooh, ooh, look at... I want to eat some of that. Oh my goodness, that's honey. Yeah, I accidentally broke Yummy. it open. You want to take a pinch? Well, not with my gloves... Without gloves on. <laughs> Just get a dab with your finger and you'll be okay. right. Okay. Yummy. Oh no. I, I can't get to my face. <laughs> Maybe I can unzip it. I'm trying to hide my hand in my glove or my. Now I have to do it all without that one finger. I'm trying to get the honey to my face. You can do it, hand. Oh, got it. Okay, we have brood on this one. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love honey. And it looks so Seriously, good. Seriously, when I eat real honey, I get memories of my childhood. Because what we used to do... Here's the last one. Oh, hold on. We're we used to, to eat you. honey sandwiches, um, which would just toast and butter and honey, and it was so good. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So you can see all the brood at the, underneath of the bees. The, there's capped off cells, and inside the capped off cells are the pupa stage of the honeybees. And then inside the cells that are not capped off, you can see the little larva. You can see the larva under these guys. They're kind of stepping all over it, but... Yeah. Let's see, where's some more... That's pollen in there. Oh wait, I got a good shot mm -hmm. of, a, of a... I just want to find a pupa. Let's see, there's a pupa. In there, down in there, no wait, right in here, there they are, underneath there, you can see the pupa really good, that's the baby bees. Yeah, you're learning stuff and you're not even at school. Yeah. <laughs> Life is my education, <laughs> I'm always learning, trying that's to true. always learn new things. How long can the honey last? Honey lasts forever. If you, in fact, they said, I think I heard that they got honey out of a tomb. Egyptian. An Egyptian tombs. tomb and it was still perfectly good. As long as you don't get it in water, it will last forever. Don't put any water in it and it will last forever. But it has to be real, raw, unfiltered honey. To and honey does harden. It solidifies. It crystallizes. Crystallizes. Um, as it gets cold or cool, um, or as it gets older, but it's still perfectly good. Yep. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it because honey, just because of what it is, it cannot spoil because bacteria can't grow in it. In fact, uh, if you ever get stung, put honey on it. If you yes. get stung by a bee, put honey on it. Um, it's good for lots of first aid, actually. Yeah. That's why they have lip balm that's made out of honey. The Burt's Bees lip balm is made out of beeswax. Yep. Um, because it's also got very healing properties. Yes. That's it. We looked all through the beehives. You found, did you find the queen in that one? I didn't, but I, I didn't want to keep it open anymore. Okay. I found a good brood pattern. Okay. Beautiful brood, so I know because of that that we have a good laying queen. Yep. There were and eggs in it all over, so it was fine. You really don't want to open them very often. Yep. Um, the last, I haven't even opened them since I first installed them. Except yep. all I did was I opened them and I pulled the queen cages out and then I closed them and I was done. Yep. So, because you don't want to open them as much as possible because it disturbs a lot of what they're doing. Yep. Um, but they've got about almost half of the hive is already drawn out with comb. Yep. Which means probably That's great. 
Um, and they've only been here for a couple weeks. Yeah. Which means probably in the next uh, week or two, maybe in the next two or three weeks, I'll be putting a second story on top. Yeah. Because they're going to need room to keep growing. Yeah. How many eggs does a queen bee lay in one day, says McKenna Smith? McKenna Smith. A queen bee can lay about a thousand eggs a day. Uh, on a good day, a queen bee can lay a thousand eggs, yeah. which is actually more than her entire body weight. How does that Which even is kind of cool. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Andrea, Andrina Gonzalez says, my three-year-old son saw Charlie come out the back door and yelled, Chawi, hi Chawi, and was waving. That's so cute. He's waving to what? To the camera because I was filming Charlie down there on the patio. Uh -huh. That's so cute. Charlie's a cutie pie. Yes, he is. Let's see. Best so, channel ever. I'm reading your comments right now. Do bears really like honey? Bears actually eat the grubs. Oh, the, the really? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, they're interested in they're the larvae. They're in the protein, not the in the sweet. They don't eat the honey. People just think... You can eat the larva, by the way. And it tastes like popcorn. It tastes like honey, like flour flavored. Like flour flavored... Jello. Jello pops. <laughs> and Michael has eaten them before, and I think I've eaten one. Ryan's eaten one. Aaron's I know I did a good one. job with my bees when I can take off my bee suit, and there's no bees flying. Here, you around. film now, and I'll take this off. Okay, we'll let Becca get un un out of her bee suit. What'd you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. I wasn't able to pay attention to your comments, but I'm really curious what you guys thought of looking at the bees. How many bees hatch in one day? So uh, the worker bees uh, go from egg to adult. Um, in about 21 days, and they're eggs for three days. So they hatch from their egg after three days, and they become adults 21 days later. So if the queen's laying a thousand eggs a day, then it makes sense that she's, there's also about a thousand new bees coming every day after that three week trial period. How do you make honey? So I don't make the honey the bees do. Um, they do it just by gathering uh, nectar from flowers. And actually, you know that honey that I ate? That honey could be spoiled. Like uh -huh. if it was left and the and the bees didn't uh, cap it off, then it could go bad, and you wouldn't want to eat that because it still has too much water in it. Too right? much moisture. Too yep. much moisture. And so like, it was good for me to eat, and I'm not gonna get sick. But if it was like left and the bees had died or something, you wouldn't want to eat that honey. Exactly. Unless it was capped off. It was if it's capped off, that's like the perfect container for honey to stay good in. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I gotta blow my nose. I'm you so walking in hungry. being a busy person, you already did that. You did that, man. Sorry, Bobby Joe, I'm trying to read your comment. It's a little bit confusing. Shout out to Liliana King. Oh no. It smells like smoke in here. Oh, a little oh. bit. A little bit like <laughs> Thank you, McKenna Smith. Okay, uh, I keep touching the screen and then it like refocuses. How many bees do you have in all the boxes? So I probably have about 8,000 bees in each box. Um, so three boxes, that's about, what, 24,000 bees? Can we see more bees in the future, please? Yes, Kia, definitely will. I love looking at the bees, and I love showing it off. So if you guys want to see more, I will absolutely do more bee videos. And... Don't look at this messy room because it is literally the messiest room in the entire house. But <laughs> this is the style for um, beekeeping. Oh yeah, I've still got my pants tucked in. <laughs> you have to like put your socks over your pants and make sure there's not a whole bunch of like holes or gaps because, oh, we have had some Shout bees. out Gemma Davies. We have had some bees that are so mean. And they Shout will out Luis sting, Morales. They'll sting through your clothes. I those did ones were totally, like, that was probably the calmest I've ever seen any bees. So those are, I have three different bee breeds right there. Oh, Italian, uh-huh. I got three different breeds. I didn't know that. The middle one is Italian. See which ones would survive the best? I just want to kind of see and compare and contrast. Yeah, so I've got okay. an Italian, a Cornolian, and then another one. I'm not sure what it's called. I gotta sneeze. But there's another breed of bees called, called African bees. Um, and they are the ones that are super aggressive. Very, very dangerous. Um, and I'm, I believe when I did bees in Florida for a time, I had some bees that were not pure African. 
uh, because they weren't that aggressive, but they were much more aggressive than any bees I'd ever dealt with. Um, so I think that they were just partially African bees. And in the south where we were doing it, it was in Florida, and they had said that some Africanized bees had gotten into Florida, and so we were like, I'm pretty sure. Plus, we got them out of an abandoned house. Right. And we were like, <laughs> it was a really wild swarm, and we got stung. I can't even tell Hi, you. Hi, Lena. Shout that out. Day. It was Hi, horrible. Hi, Peyton Cooley. <laughs> and they were, like, mad. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. when you see an angry hornet or a, or a yellow jacket, and it's, like, following you around, chasing you, try to kill you, trying to kill you, that's what it was like. <laughs> Those bees, it didn't matter if I smoked them. They were angry all yeah, the time. Yeah. Okay, so I've got some fan mail here that we want to open up. Speaking of, some of these, if they're too thick, you have to pay postage on them, or then we have to pay postage on them. Yeah, so I actually had to pay postage <laughs> to even get this letter. So I've got a I've got fan mail. I want to open them up, but make sure I want to make sure you guys are here. So I've got Kawhi Cat sent us a letter. Um, Del Delulia Delulina Debolina. If Debolina's here, let me know. This one's unmarked. So I'll open it right now. We've got one from Krista. I think this is Krista Vlogs. Oh, I'm going to see her We're actually going to be today. hanging out with her tonight. And then I've got one from Lucy Hammond. If Lucy's ha Lucy Hammond is here, let me know. Ooh. Should we go? I want to do it. You Let's go, go do open in, it in the in bathroom the room? or something. Like that bathroom because it's so bright and clean. Okay. And I want to sit on my butt. Okay. <laughs> Not try to hide all my mess. The bees can sting each other, my avoid. Can the, they? Oh, the, yes, they can. They, uh, if, if one bee goes into the wrong hive... And sometimes they try to steal honey from the other hive, and they'll fight. Or and like yellow jackets will get into a hive sometimes, and they will right. defend them and defend their hive. And exactly. Okay, so ooh, this is interesting. Cute. We're getting ready to open up some fan mail. All right, so this one is from unmarked. We have no idea, but it says to the beach house. Okay. The kids are all downstairs. Yes, they're all watching Shrek right now. I don't know if they've really seen it. Maybe once. Okay. Dear Beach House. An anonymous subscriber. Oh. Dear Beach Family, I wanted to write a quick letter to say that I was watching the live stream on Sunday when you read my letter on camera. I will admit that hearing you guys say that you are proud of me, it can get very overwhelming to be a full-time mom, full-time and all while working full-time. Ugh. That's too many full times. <laughs> Doesn't add up math wise. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, let's see. So I wanted to, so say, I wanted thank to you. say thank you. Also, I felt kind of bad not telling you who I am. So I want to tell you my name. Just don't say it on camera. Okay. okay. We promise. So my name is Bleepity Bleep Bleep Bleep, <laughs> pronounced Bleepity Bleep Bleep. <laughs> I also wanted to tell Ryan if he is with you. Well, this is being read. Sorry for freaking you out, LOL. In the envelope, I made each of the kids a mini donut. Oh, that's what they are. Sincerely, an anonymous subscriber, bleepity bleep. Also, <laughs> the image in James's donut is a train. Corbin's is a rocket and Ellie's is a tiara. I am really bad at drawing, so I just wanted to clarify. Oh. Oh, well. Lastly, I love the live streams the most. They feel so much more interactive. Thank you. Good. I'm so glad that you love the live streams. We love doing them too. Charlie. That looks like a good Let's donut. Let's put this up on the... We should, no, we should go get, we should show them to Charlie and Corbin and Ellie. Okay. We could hang them up James's on the wall is a train. To. It's hard to focus. Trying to get it to focus not on my eyeball, right? There we go. All there right. There we go. James is. And Corbin's is a rocket. And Ellie's is a tiara. Oh, awesome. I love, 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 love getting letters from you guys. Let's go down with the kids, though. Okay. Let's go open them up with the kids. We've got a few more and here. We've got to get ready because we're going to a wedding reception. What's up, Gamma Davies? Hashtag beaches. Uh, bee, the queen bee can sting multiple times. She's not like the worker bees. However, she doesn't, she doesn't use her stinger. She only uses it to sting another queen bee if there happens to somehow become two queens in one hive. And they will fight And they'll each fight. Other. One will die. And the other queen remains as the champion and the new ruler of the beehive. 
I don't know, I was just comfortable on the floor, I guess. That's so weird. <laughs> I just want to sit here. Okay. You look great. Thanks. Okay. Yay. Here we go. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's open up another letter. Okay. Okay, I know Krista's not Shout out to on. Allison. I want to open Krista's. Shout out to Madison. Hi, McKenna. Thanks for so watching. We're opening up Krista's. Charlie! Charlie! What happens when bees die? Then they don't move anymore. Oh, actually, the other bees, if they die in the hive, will pick up their body and throw it out because That's true. they're very what? clean, actually. Everybody wants to say hi to you. Okay. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that there's Charlie. So, Happy birthday! When harvest time comes, Happy I'll do a video birthday. on harvesting. Happy birthday! I think it was for Ryan. Yeah. Sorry about really? that, guys. Ryan's here. Ryan? Oh, it said to the beach house. Okay. So like, don't show the return of oh. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Okay. Ooh. Ryan, you got a letter. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hey Ryan, I hope you are doing super awesome. You are one of the nicest and most genuine people I know. Thank you for being my friend. Have a super duper happy birthday. Love, Krista. It doesn't say love, Krista. But it's Krista. Love, it always. Love? No. no. <laughs> but I'm used to saying love, Krista. Love. Or love something. <laughs> hope this birthday and the whole year ahead bring all the good things you are you're wishing for. Cool. I have to say, I appreciate this. I really do. And I feel like it's really, really heartfelt. And I really appreciate that, Krista. Thank you. Cool. All right. Who else is here? Do we have Lucy, Lucy or Debelina? Debelina. Or Kawaii Cat. Are you guys here? Kawaii I want you guys Cat. to be here when we open it. Kawaii Cat often does come to our live streams. Yeah. Happy flappy birthday, Ryan says. Feel me once. Happy Thank you. Flappy birthday. <laughs> so we actually have a fun birthday uh, stair slide video that's going to be going up tomorrow. Yes. That's going to be really really fun. It was so, 14th day, but we uh, and the stair slide in, to into them. cake. Because you know we're we're like starting to do stair slides and more fun videos, and we didn't want to like go from normal vlogging to everyday stair slide! You know what I mean? So we're spreading them out a little bit. That's um, why it took so long for his birthday to put it up. They don't even know when his birthday was. Do you guys know when Ryan's birthday was? Maybe if you're a true fan and you watched for years, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> so the harvest time is going to be like Just in kidding. October. September, October sometime. But I'll do a video about harvesting honey. For sure. Oh yeah, and it's going to be my favorite day and I'm going to be like... Eating honey. And then she's going to be like, you're not allowed to sell any because I want to keep it all. That's right. <laughs> and that's okay. Well, uh, hi Ellie. I Everybody's saying hi more. to you. Hi. How are you? <laughs> are you good? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Should we open more? One more. Should we open uh, up the letter? Kawaii Cat, Lucy, or Debelina? Also, by the way, we're going to be doing our live streams midweek from now on. Yeah. Probably on Tuesday or Wednesday We don't want to work on Sunday anymore. And it's good. I think that's good. LPS Lizzie TV says, Ellie, you are my favorite child. <laughs> 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 what do you think of that? <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm, la I'm waiting. Do you want to hear us open up the one from Debelina, Lucy, or Kawaii Cat? Shout out to Kaylee Scott. If you don't say, I'm going to do Kawaii Cat. Do a live Q&A with Jared. Thomas wants us to do a live Q&A with Jared. I want to do a live Q&A with everybody, and we've not Somebody gotten around to everybody yet. <laughs> Bye, guys. We are going to buy food. Okay, buy good food. Have okay. a good time buying food. Enjoy the food that you get. Oh. Kawaii Cat. Okay. Peyton says That's open Kawaii Cat. Anyway. Perfect. Hey, beach house, green hearts. <laughs> Ooh, this has a lot of stuff in it. Ooh! Whoa. Okay. 
Okay, the first one. This looks like art that's going up on our wall. Ah! Ooh. Kawaii cupcake, it says. Cool. Oh! The Bells, beach house. Sandals. And kawaii cupcake. Palm trees. Sweet. All this stuff. Beautiful. Let's see. Beach house sandals. To, to mail, mail to, to a loved to one. To a loved one. Well, that's that's cool. cool. It's like a postcard that you could mail. That's mm -hmm. awesome. From Kauai Cat. Hi, Beach House. It's Kauai Cat again. I was so happy you got my fan mail. I was. I have inspired my cousin Kauai Cupcake to watch your videos oh. and to send you fan mail. Our real names are... Uh, we love your family. Uh, <laughs> Ryan is funny and Ellie is so pretty. Charlie is so cute. Corbin is so creative. James is so smart. Me and my family watch your videos and me and my cousin make treasure hunts. <gasps> Woo! We were going to make a YouTube box, but we don't have one. So, oh, a treasure box? Make you oh, a we, box. Okay, but we don't have one. So we had to mail make our letters short. Love Kawaii Cat from the Oh, that's cat. cool. And it has a cute little wait. cat. Oh, wait. From Kawaii Cupcake. Oh, hi, Beach House. It's Kawaii Cupcake. My cousin has inspired me to watch you, so I decided to write you. I loved watching your vids, and you inspired me to make my own YouTube channel and treasure hunt videos. Love your channel and your videos. Love you all, Kawaii Cupcake. Thank you. Oh, thank that you. That just sounds like the most delicious, like, Hawaiian cupcake. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, your I'm name like makes all of a sudden, I'm like, pineapple cupcake? <laughs> 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 pineapple upside, upside down, down cake. cake. Yeah. Uh, that sounds really yummy right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pop-up letter with a map. Ooh. What? 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 Look at this. Look at this. Awesome! To treasure. Becca, Michael, Ellie. Corbin, James, James Charlie. Charlie. Cool. <laughs> Peachos from Kauai Cupcake. Is there anything inside the map? Kauai Cake and Cupcake. That's cupcakes. cool. Okay, one Raven more thing. Raven Snickles, thank you so much for the $2 super <gasps> chat. <gasps> thank you, Raven. Says, hey, can Becca and family. It? Sure, you can look at it. I haven't it. talked to you in a long time. Do you I'm know kind of Raven? Holding off on, yeah, I, I sent her a wand and some lip scents a long time ago. Oh. I've been holding off on lip scents. It's been a little bit too much for me to handle, especially because this summer is going to be so busy, and I know I can't do it for this summer. But we'll see when the summer's over. Okay, this is really cute. This was also in Kawaii Cat's letter. This was in there. Oh, you're sweet. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Money, I mean, candy. Let's see. Hi. That's great. Oh, hi, little Ellie. Here's you a treat because you are so sweet. This is for you, Ellie, because you're so sweet. That's so sweet. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> That's so That's awesome. really cool. Thank you. Good thing she was the only one here. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? Okay. That's pretty <laughs> cool, huh? <laughs> Uh, yes, send us a letter live live at PO 72. Box, at PO Box 322, Springville, mm -hmm. Utah. That's where we get our mail. And uh, that's where, especially if you send us artwork, we'll put it up on the wall. And then you can see it in the vlog. So that's pretty exciting. PO Box 322, Utah 84663. Yes. And just send it to the beaches, a beach house, beach house family. Yep, any, any one of those will work. And we'd love to get some letters from you guys. Should we go tape these letters up right now, or do we want to open up Lucy's letter? Let's open up another one. Lucy. You want to eat it? Okay. Um, let's see. My lips are super chapped. Yeah. Guess what? I've run 11 miles this week. Good job. That's a lot of miles. You've been a lot. I'm getting skinny. <laughs> Cruises. This puppy lover, Cali girl, is going on a cruise. She's showing. Mm -hmm. Yummy. 
Okay. Bobby Joe says you're my <gasps> second like favorite YouTuber. Artwork. You know what? This Who's is your a favorite perfect YouTuber? way. Okay, <gasps> whoever did this, this is a perfect way to do it because then we can have your letter go along with your artwork up on the wall. I love it. The beach house. That's a beautiful picture. I, for some reason, I want to jump into that picture. And just be on the beach. I do. <laughs> Even if it's a crayon version of the beach, I would oh, rather be there it. right now. That's very cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, read it. Dear beach house, you guys are the best. I don't have a YouTube channel, so I can't subscribe. I've tried to... I've tried at least a hundred thousand times, but I want you to know that in my heart I've subscribed. I love all your videos and your beautiful family. Charlie is so cute. I have a little brother named Charlie as well. I love you all so much. Sincerely, Lucy Hammond. P.S. I'm LDS as well. That's so cool. cool. Hey, Addison Hillary. Thank you for the super chat. I love you guys and do more vids. That's awesome. We promise we will do more vids. That is really cool. Thank this you so is much. a long live oh. stream. A little sweet tart. Mm, candy. So, um, what do you think of that? Just so you guys know, this is like the best way. <laughs> this is the best way to you, for you guys to send us art is to write on the back of it. So then it's just one little piece of paper, and then we can stick it up on the wall, and it will have your letter. If we're ever wondering who sent us that beautiful artwork, we can just look on the back of it. Chloe Worthington oh. says, can you do more treasure hunt videos? Did you see our pieces of eight sunken buried treasure video that we did at Sand Hollow? Eat it. She's showing them every piece. Have fun at the wedding. I'm excited. We're going to get ready yes, to go as soon as we're done. Yeah, this. that's true. We got one more letter. Hey. Oh, are we going to open it on camera? Sure. All right. Can I ask some? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Did you like it? That was a really, really fun one. Liliana King. I really enjoyed that. Oh, I, I love pictures. I love it. I love the artwork. Here's another beach picture. Cool. A treasure right there. A treasure. There is a treasure. And flip flops and a crab and some fish jumping out of the ocean. I love the beach. And palm trees. Liliana King. I want to go there right the now. <laughs> oh, All right, let's see. I'm excited to go put those up on our wall. Yes. Shout out, please. Shout out, shout out to Addison Hillary. Thank you for the super chat. The beach house. So what's cool about oh, super chats is we will always see them and we will always beach. read them on camera. Promise. Unless they have swear words in them. Don't do that. Don't do that. The beach house. Hi, Michael, Rebecca, Ryan, Jessica, James, Corbin, Ellie, and Charlie. You are the best. I love your vlogs and treasure hunts. I am your biggest fan. My name is Debolina. I am nine years old. I am in Almost third grade. I'm in third grade. I live at Tucson, uh, Tucson, Arizona. I wanted to know how old you are and which grade James and Corbin are in. Love you. Sorry about that. Uh, we're back. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, James was just saying he's second grade and he's eight years old. He just turned eight in February. And Corbin is six and also doing second grade work. That's true. But he's only six, so I'm not sure what grade he should be in. Because he technically should be in kindergarten. Okay. Uh, but he I is doing second grade work, glass. just like James. Yep. Um, we keep having connection issues. I think it's good now, but we're done reading the fan. Yep. Let's go tape it up on the wall real quick, okay. and then oh, we'll no. close oh, it. Okay. okay. I'm starting to feel tired. Yeah. Ready for a nap. I'll always let you film if I can tape. <laughs> Let's see, there's more pictures. <gasps> Whoa! Sorry, so close to my face. I want to see. We won that sign over there at uh, GlamourCon from last week that we went there. Okay, let's go put these up on the wall. All right, let's do it. All right. James did a lemonade stand today. That was cool. <sighs> let's see. Let's see. I'm reading your comments right now. Michael's getting some tape. Ryan's eating food. We need to clean our kitchen. Our, this is growing. It is growing and I love Look it. Look at that. I love it, love it, love it so much. That is pretty exciting. Let's see. Ryan. Yeah. 
you are a bad dog. Are you okay? Let's get some more. You're not sharing. I only said that to get Ryan to say, Becca! Because oh. random content told me to. Becca! Ah. Can I go over at my friend's house? They said to come back at 4.20 and it's past 4.20. Uh, no, we're getting we gotta get ready to go. Where? A wedding. Are we bringing the kids? I don't know. Are we bringing the kids? Oh, okay. Are you stepping on my toes, Charlie? Look at him. On my toes. Michael's still taping it up. What? I'm gonna tell you a secret. Oh no! By looking at it. Okay, so watch out, Ellie. I don't want to get my toes run over. She's playing with that in the house. All right, Michael, our wall is growing. Look at all of these beautiful artwork things that you guys have sent to us. That was so cool. I still love that. That was a picture of Charlie and all of us when they were a lot younger, but still, it's so awesome. Someone turned this into a cartoon. That's our family right yeah. there. The Beach House, CBX, YouTube, family. I love all of this art you guys are sending to us. That is so cool. So, six, three. And we can get your art put up on our wall at our house while we're vlogging. You'll see it in the vlog most likely. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, one more. Awesome. Oh, that one still tempts me. I want to go there right now. <laughs> Sing again. All right. Sing it. Sing it, baby. Take every moment. Yeah, take it all in. Follow. Also, keep yet yeah, background music. Keep going. Ryan, follow him on Instagram. The Curious Life of Ryan. He's hilarious. He has llama hair. It's funny. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.